this. I got most of the horses secure and the chicken. Well, thank you, Amos, but it's the herd I'm worried about. I know. They're scattered all over the valley and beyond. The weather is coming in real fast. So what do you suggest, Amos? We leave the herd out there to be scattered by the storm and ourselves left here to die without a livelihood? Can I help? No, miss. If the men get caught out in that storm, they're gonna die. And if we lose our herd, we'll all die, you stupid man. Doesn't sound like we're left with much of a choice then. Come on, Amos. Round up your men. Let's get the herd. Dang.
one day. Thank you, Miss McFarland. There's much treasure here. You want map? I retire. Here, take map. You earn it. Thanks, mister. I could use a little luck. Get out this way. Out it, partner. Well, howdy. Excuse me, friend. Mind if I rest up at your camp a spell? Well, it'd be my pleasure. Man needs a break from this desiccated land. Thank you, mister. Say, what's that stick you got there? Oh, 
Y'all ain't never seen a dowsing rod before, mister? Never seen a man summon the water up from the bare earth, uh, mister, uh... Marston. Ah. No, can't say I have. Hmm. It's water you're looking for. What's wrong with that lake over there? Oh, there ain't nothing wrong with Lake Don Julio. Nothing wrong with it, but we lack the fancy irrigation equipment you folks have back east, so... Man needs a wellspring on his proper tie to ranch here. Makes sense. Yeah. Why, well, you know, just last week, I was over at Old Pleasant's house. Now, I think I may have found something, but... Old Coot that owns the place threatened to call the law down on me, so... People act funny around strange men with sticks. They sure do. Damn fools. Bet you he don't even know how much water's running underneath his proper tie. You want me to tell him? <laughs> you know what? You ain't that stupid, mister. And I can tell. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get the old man to sell us his proper top for a small pittance? Then I can find the source of the water, build us a proper wellspring. Maybe I will. Well, all right then. <laughs> This is mighty generous of you, mister. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. You need help? Mister, you alive? 
bugger fuck. God damn it. Good heavens. Excuse me? I said, no, I'm not okay. Do I look like I'm okay? You look pretty good for a corpse. <laughs> Praise be. <laughs> Move up, mister. Time to get you to a doctor or an undertaker. Whichever you need once we get to town. Uh, St. Peter, open up them pearly gates. I'm coming home. Oh. <laughs> Come on, mister. Come on. Oh. Oh. Hurry, sir. I'm bleeding like a badly butchered hog. You'll be fine. Just focus. You better take the reins. I don't think I'm strong enough. I'm finished. Done for. Just sit up straight, will you? To Armadillo! Godspeed! Sometimes. Still, at least I met you. I don't believe it. More of the other side. That's it. Time to salute. Clear the way. That's red coming from you. Just concentrate on staying conscious. Come on. There's him to go. Faster, John. Faster. Armadillo. We made it safe. You'll be happy to know. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You're a gentleman and a, a true man of honor. Coming from you, I doubt that means much, but I appreciate the civility. I owe you, sir. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Jesus. But if I die, I'm sorry for it. If not, I'll be your man for... for... Let's get you fixed up first. Then we'll decide what you're my man for.
Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway, we got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Why me? All right, boys, let's move it out. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the East. The result of years of research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. I wouldn't be so dismissive of science if I was you. Times is changing fast. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. A more flannel mouth bunko artist I've never met. Hey, Marshal, see those vultures? Might just be a dead critter. Marston, take a look. Eli, you too. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. against them. Drew's a rancher, not a businessman. Railroads, motor cars, telephones, opening the world of new opportunities, apparently. Try telling that to a farmer with no head for business, or a blacksmith whose customers can buy tools for half the price out of a Spalding's catalog. Giving a man too many options will make him unhappy. Taking too many away will force him to do things he shouldn't. It's wrong to assume change is always good. Look, vultures. We should check it out. Marston, Eli, go see what it is. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal. Man, this don't look too good. 
Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. Come on! We'll head for Ridgewood Farm. See if they know anything. What kind of man does that? A bunch of weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain evil. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're born. At least that's how I see it. Who could have done such a thing? Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. I can see more vultures up ahead. God damn it. Come on, let's take a look. Let's go. Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. Those scumbags must still be around. Come on. to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry. Sons of bitches! Yeah! It's clear, Marshal. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs>
Jesus well. Pretty little thing. As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. This way. Thank you. I was convinced I was Make a break for the shed when the coast is clear. There'll be a deputy waiting for you. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Looks all clear, fellas. Let's check up on the farmers. of that bunch gets fifty dollars it ain't about the money marshal these are people's lives people's homes come on they're gonna get away all right let's find those bastards John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! We'll make our stand here. Stay in cover. Watch your head. That one almost got Ah! We're 
coming down the hill. I see him. Bring me Williamson. Lost, I'm afraid. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> this something makes you still breathing. <laughs> Come here, boy. <laughs> Come on, Bessie. Give. <laughs> oh. Norman Deke. <laughs> Fuck. I nice see you again, buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is going to help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. This is getting real nasty. Can I have this? Whatever I 
goddamn please. So kind of you. Much obliged. You're lucky to be alive. with iron. I bet you can't beat Ira Shelton in shooting. I'll bet you money. Come on then. Show me what you got.
like I won. Ain't that so? All right, here's your win. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Come on. Let's see if we can find the old goat. Long. Don't worry. We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe they're baller twins, that bunch. Now, you head back to the ranch right now and fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Idiot! Giddy up! What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. I don't think that's a good idea. 
And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. Like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize... The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're upset. Oh my god! The barn's on fire! Yeah! know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're gonna be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. 
John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. I know, I know, I know. Right, yeah, that's yeah. Um, I'm gonna finish off this live stream here. But if you wanna um, like follow the channel, I'll probably be doing some probably later on today. It's because it's six oh six in the morning. I normally get off around about bed around about this one. But hello, Cork Master. How you all doing? How you doing? That? But uh, I will be uploading this to my YouTube channel as well, so you can check out my YouTube channel. Um, the links will be in the actual bio section once I put it up. Um, but yeah, cheers for watching. Um, also, you can replay and watch these back on my screen on my mixer. Anyway, you take care. Uh, 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 uh.